Hello Explorers and welcome to another Explorers video. I hope you all had a lovely Easter and that you're settling back into a bit of a routine now after the Easter holidays. Well it's a Wednesday and so it's time for Explorers and we've got another Explorers video for you. It's great that we can join together even if we can't all come together at Pinscombe Church. We have a game, we've played this game before at Explorers, it's called Captain's Coming. But we have a few changes to the game today, so listen carefully as I explain. As I explain the actions, Rossi is going to come and he's going to help us see what to do. And as we play, he will play along with you guys at home. So your general thing as you play this game is to run on the spot. This is going to be quite good exercise for you. So Rossi, can you give us an example of running on the spot? Just warm up. Okay, that's your general what's generally happening in the game but sometimes I will shout an action that you need to do as quickly as possible. First one is a normal one I might say captain's coming. Climb the rigging, climb the rigging, quick as you can, climb the rigging. I <laughs> think you didn't hear me, if I say captain's coming you know what to do don't you? Oh. You have to say aye aye captain. Oh I didn't know the rules Anna. Okay let me try again. Captain's coming. Aye, aye, Captain. Brilliant. Then we've got climb the rigging, which Rossi already showed us. Climb the rigging, climb the rigging. We have scrub the deck, which I know you already know. Scrub, scrub, scrub. If you can reach the floor, you can do it on your floor. Now, here's some new ones. I might shout fishing. What could you do for fishing, Rossi? <laughs> okay, that's what you do if it's fishing. I might shout jump in and swim. Here's what you do for that. <gasps> swim, swim, swim. You can do your favourite swim stroke. And the final one I might shout. This is a choice. I'm, I'm going to shout fish for breakfast. And you might think, yum, delicious. Show us that one. Yeah. Or yummy. the idea of fish for breakfast might make you go, oh. <laughs> so you can do that if that's what you think. Okay, so those are our six actions. And in between, you can do some leisurely running on the spot. I hope you can play along at home. Are you ready, Rossi? I'm ready. Are you ready at home? Here we go. Captain's coming. Aye, aye, captain. Very good. Scrub the deck. Make sure it's clean. Okay, keep running. Jump in and swim. <laughs> Last one. Back on the deck. Climb the rigging. Climb down the rigging. <laughs> Captain's coming. Aye, aye, Captain. Scrub the deck quickly. Ah, oh, he's gone. You can keep running. Time to go fishing. We've got a big one. Time to go fishing again. <laughs> it's time to jump in and swim. And then it's going to be fish for breakfast. You might have chosen to go yum, depending if you want fish fingers for breakfast or not. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, thank you, Rossi, for your help in that. Aye, aye. That was... I hope you guys enjoyed that game. We normally play that in the hall, don't we? And Mike tells us what to do. So hopefully that gives you a reminder of normal explorers. Now, we have in this room someone who normally comes to explorers, but currently is on holiday at my house during lockdown. He is a giraffe. His name is Patrick, and he loves playing hide and seek. Mm. I wonder, we're in a different room today, I wonder if you can see where Patrick is. is There's lots of things in this room. Behind the guitar? He's not behind the guitar. He's not behind the guitar. Have a look round. Is he on top of the bookshelf? Uh, we can't see on top of the bookshelf. Mm. Found a cricket bat, is it there? No. Do you know, Three I think cups. probably everyone at home is pointing at the screen where they think he is. Am I warm or am I cold? What do you reckon? I think you're getting warmer. Getting warmer. Why? Did you see him? Here he is. He was hiding in the bookshelf. 
doing some reading during lockdown. Now, Patrick has a question for us. His question is, because it's been really sunny all these last few days, he's wondering if anyone this week has eaten something outside. So maybe in your garden, or maybe if you're out on a walk, you had a quick snack. Have a think. Have you eaten anything outside this week? You can tell me by shouting at the screen. You could tell the person you're watching with if you're watching with someone. Rossi, I'm going to ask you as well. Have you eaten anything outside? Hi, hi, Cameron. I have. Oh, I wish, Patrick, that I'd have had a barbecue because I love barbecues, but we haven't had one yet, even though it's actually been quite sunny. Um, soon we'll have one. I have had some sandwiches outside for lunch, and that was really nice in the warm sunshine. So good. So good. Well, there you go. I wonder what your answers were. Maybe you can tell me next time you see me. Well, we are going to have our story now and we're finishing the story we started a few weeks ago called The Friend Who Forgives, which is written by Dan DeWitt and is illustrated by Catalina Echeverry and is published by The Good Book Company and they very kindly shared their pictures with us. I'm going to share those pictures with you so you can see them now. Let's put them up. Sorry, there we go. That's the, the title of the book, The Friend Who Forgives. Let me recap in case you have forgotten what's happened so far. Let me recap what the story has showed us. We met a man named Peter and Peter was a fisherman. You might think of some of those things in our game now. Peter was a fisherman and he met a very special man. He met a man called Jesus. There's Peter with Jesus and Jesus was giving him a new job to do. And Jesus, sadly, told his friends, including Peter, that he was going to be arrested and taken away by the Roman officials. And he said to Peter, Peter, you're going to let me down. Even though you're a really good friend of mine, you're going to let me down. And Peter said, I will never do that. That's what he said. But do you remember three times Peter said this? There's Jesus going away. And Peter said, I don't know Jesus. No, I don't know Jesus. No, I don't know Jesus. He said that three times. We're going to see now what happens next, because in between, Jesus had died on the cross and Peter hadn't seen Jesus since then. And I guess he was worried what Jesus was going to say to him. Let's carry on. One day, Jesus went looking for Peter. Where do you think Jesus found him? That's right. Peter and his friends were fishing. Jesus called to them from the beach. Peter jumped out of the boat into the water and rushed to the beach to see Jesus. And this is where Jesus and Peter had fish for breakfast. Fish for breakfast? That's weird. You can see Peter looks quite happy about it, doesn't he, in that picture? But in fact, Peter was so happy to see Jesus alive. But would Jesus forgive him? Peter wasn't sure. Maybe Jesus wouldn't want to talk to him. Maybe Jesus wouldn't want to be friends with him anymore. But yes, Jesus did want to talk to Peter. And yes, Jesus did want to forgive Peter. Wow. And since Peter had said that he didn't know Jesus three times, Jesus gave Peter the chance to say three times, I love you, Jesus. That's how Peter became a fisher of men. Peter spent the rest of his life telling people about his best friend, Jesus. He told them that if they put their trust in Jesus, Jesus would forgive them again and again and again. That's because Peter knew that, because Jesus had forgiven Peter again and again and again. That's why this book is called The Friend Who Forgives, because Jesus was Peter's friend who forgave him 
again and again and again. Do you know that's what Jesus offers all of us as well? Because of Easter, because he died and rose again, he offers us the chance to be forgiven. And when we mess up, he forgives again and again and again if we trust him. Isn't that wonderful news? I'm going to say a prayer. And if you'd like to join me at the end, you can sing our Explorers Amen song. So shall we shut our eyes and talk to God? Father God, thank you so much that Jesus came to earth to rescue us so that we could be forgiven. Thank you that he forgave Peter again and again and again. Thank you that he offers to forgive us too if we trust in him. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, 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 and I agree, amen. Great. Well, I have sent your mum and dads a song that you might enjoy to do, uh, to watch and do the actions for at home. There is also a craft that I've made. This story involved fishermen and fish, didn't it? You can, if you would like to, draw around your hand and make a fish. I've done some patterns on my fish. You can probably do some better ones. But fishermen wouldn't just have caught fish. They might have caught jellyfish. So you could also use your hand to make a jellyfish. And if you add some more fingers, you could also make an octopus. Can I make one? You can make one. Oh, yes. So that's something you could do if you'd like to as your explorer craft. Well, all that's left now is to say that we're very much looking forward to seeing you next week for our next Explorer video. And it's goodbye from us. Bye. Patrick says bye too. Bye, Patrick. See you soon.